T short for? Because it's got small legs! <laughs> testing, testing, one, two, one, two. I come in peace. Don't hit the mic. Sorry. Hiya, my name's Barbarella. Like the Queen of the Galaxy from the 41st century. But most people just call us Barbara. I met Frank about five years ago. It, it was love at first sight. His eyes were so big and his skin was so soft. It didn't even matter he were an alien. People don't believe in aliens. But I think those people don't realise just how big the universe is. For every grain of sand in the Earth, there's roughly ten times as many stars in the universe. <laughs> and there's countless planets orbiting them stars. That's almost as many selfies as the average teenager takes. Alien life is actually quite common, intelligent life less so. Frank thinks intelligent life is yet to appear on Earth, and I have to agree. I've been there. People don't bat an eyelid about a bearded invisible man living in the clouds, do they? I mean, have you actually read the Bible? Evil snakes what make people eat apples. That's fine, but... When you tell them, there might be a life force on another universe. They laugh in your face and they call you nutter. <laughs> ah! I know him. Lovely chap. Barbara. Just how many times have you been abducted? Oh, loads! I've lost count. I've been taken more times than Liam Neeson's family. One point, I spent more time in space than I did on Earth. It was brilliant! I was first abducted about ten years ago. They got me outside a little. I'd been there to get a few bits, milk, bread, anusol, the usual, and I saw this blinding light in the sky. Before I knew it, I was beamed up. I ended up in their spaceship, but rather conveniently, they'd made it look just like my living room. That'll save you a few quid in the reconstruction. They poked and prodded me, but it soon escalated. I had sex with a space alien. It wasn't like normal Earth sex, though. It was much better. So, what was it like? You know when you go on a roller coaster and you go upside down and all your bits tingle? It was just like that. Just when I thought I were going to die of pleasure. I fell back to Earth. Oh, I landed on my anus all. I didn't meet Frank until I was an experienced abductee. We've got loads in common. You know when you meet someone and you just click? Are you a carbon sample? Because I want to date you. That was his chat up line. Even in zero gravity, I fell for him. I'm not gonna lie. I was very attracted to him. The first time we made love, it gave me a right good probing. There'll be one less planet after I destroy Uranus. Such a romantic. 
Frank gave us this so we can communicate between galaxies. His species invented travelling faster than the speed of light, but they still can't make a reliable phone. He never has any signal. Um, Jaffa Cakes? <laughs> yeah, Jaffa Cakes! That's what I was thinking of. Works every time. Here, you'll go. Helen, is that what you're into? You saucy minx. I miss him so much. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you love aliens, let them abduct you. Frank proposed to me. I said yes, obviously. He's like the moulder to my scully. I like the sex files. The truth is up there. He says he wants to take me places no one's ever taken me before. Specifically, Zeta Reticuli! Humans are intent on destroying the Earth, so I'm pretty happy to be leaving. When there's a fascist umpa lumpa in the White House, you know it's time to leave. Armageddon out of here! Love is in the air. Actually, it's nitrogen and oxygen, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know where we'll be going on a honeymoon, but I know what we'll be getting up to. What goes on in a black hole stays in a black hole. I'd advise you to retreat to the minimum perimeter. Unless you want to be beamed up with me. You actually believe it, don't you, Barbara? Of course. Our love is out of this world. Literally. <laughs> <laughs>